This over here is something called VCO1, the Chinese robot. Now, this number station is probably one of the weirdest number stations I have ever came across due to the fact that it has two different modes. Now, what you heard in the start of the video was the Chinese robot without Mandarin. Now, with Mandarin, the Chinese robot sounds a bit like this. Yeah, so that's what it sounds like with Mandarin. And there is also another variant, which is a slower variant. Now, the slower variant sounds like this. And that is what the um, lower variant. And there is also a male variant to the VC01. Unfortunately, there is no uh, recording of the male variant. If someone does, please let me know uh, in the comments or drop me an email because um, I'd like to put this in this video. Now, another variant that this does have is the slower variant. Now, the live operators, what they would normally do is they would do the tests and they would send it out. Now, the Mandarin on this of VCO1 is quite weird and I don't know how this really looks like so if you guys uh, know anything more about VCO1 then that would be good. All the videos in this is of a BT tower um, and this is not where it originates from. Now as you can tell the Chinese robot is from China and it actually went offline a couple of months ago. Um, as of now, you cannot seem to access VC01, the Chinese robot. It just doesn't exist. And it was nicknamed the Chinese robot due to the fact of its automated voice. Sometimes the Mandarin is spoken before a group and... It will constantly send 24-7 onto frequencies. Now, I'm not going to say the frequencies due to the fact that there are too many frequencies to name. And there is probably even more knowing VC01. Now, this also has nicknamed it in the USB uh, emission frequency. And the reason why it was called VC01 is that it was a military station for the Chinese embassy. Now it sent three numbers per second and it was nicknamed the Chinese robot due to the fact of its automated voice. Now it does change um, frequencies while it is still broadcasting. That is something that you never see pretty much on number stations so that's always a bit weird. Um, to see it changing frequencies, um, they must be using the kit. Now, the Mandarin, in the recording, the automated voice would read out and it would read out a bunch of Chinese words before the number groups actually get said. Now, they do normal radio checks and they talk normal speed and they do not fix monthly frequencies like automated numbers do. Unfortunately, VC01 no longer exists. It has been active since the 2000s, operated by the Chinese Air Defense Force. Now it is no longer available, unfortunately, and this number station is no longer able to be heard again. So, pretty much, this number station is deemed offline. It went offline a couple of years ago. Unfortunately, it was never heard again.